Welcome. Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, folks, we live... We live in such partisan, divided times. Or at least that's what it feels like most of the time, you know? That's right. And it, it can get you down. But sometimes a hero emerges to show us the way to face the darkness. Yesterday, an angry Trump supporter interrupted a Tucson city council meeting, and this happened. The city does not change or defy immigration laws. That is Congress's job to change immigration laws. It's true what they say. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> Some wear lime green shirts. <laughs> and America needs more green shirt guy. <laughs> and less orange face man. <laughs> but today, the president flew down to Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas, and he was met by protesters in both cities. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley met with Trump and told the press beforehand that she wasn't going to pull any punches. I'm disappointed with his remarks. I mean, I think they fall fell really short. Are you, you going to express these views to the president when you see him tomorrow? Absolutely. You are? Absolutely. You're going to tell him how unhelpful he's been? Look, I mean, if I'm telling you, I'm going to tell him. What are you going to tell him? Like how, how unhelpful he's been on this. Now, that may sound mild. That may not sound like much to New Yorkers, but in Ohio, unhelpful. Devastating burn. It's <laughs> right up there with holding a door for someone, but not saying, go ahead. <laughs> Trump was on a mission to bring the country together as he read off the teleprompter on Monday. Now is the time to set destructive partisanship aside, so destructive, and find the courage to answer hatred with unity, devotion, and love. Okay, not exactly what you're used to hearing from Donald Trump but he appeared to mean it for about 24 hours because Tuesday he tweeted, Beto, phony name to indicate Hispanic heritage, O'Rourke, who is embarrassed by my last visit to the great state of Texas where I trounced him, is now even more embarrassed by polling at 1% in the Democrat primary, should respect the victims and law enforcement and be quiet. Nation healed. <laughs> By the way, Mr. President, Beto isn't pretending to be Hispanic. If he was, the part of his name he would have changed would have been O'Rourke. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Beto O'Rourke does not sound like his Hispanic name. Beto O'Rourke sounds like the bouncer at a Dropkick Murphys concert. <laughs> and Beto... Beto had a perfect response to Trump, tweeting, 22 people in my hometown are dead after an act of terror inspired by your racism. El Paso will not be quiet, and neither will I. You tell him. You tell him, Beto. Nicely said. Nicely said. Yeah. Gotta say it. Say it plain. You tell him, Beto, then tell him again in Spanish. El Trumpo es racesita. <laughs> Mas grande con queso. <laughs> 